Hi, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a look inside the Evan Moore Skill Sharpener series. There are seven total in each grade level. They include critical thinking, math, reading. There's also a spell and write, as well as a grammar and punctuation that rounds out language arts that I do not currently have, science, and geography. Each of these skill sharpener levels are available from kindergarten through sixth grade. They are all full color interior with perforated pages and each book is approximately 142 pages. The book we're gonna start with is the critical thinking book because this, if you cannot afford all of them um, or you don't maybe have time to do every one of them is my number one pick, I would say Hands down, if you could only get one, the critical thinking is the one I personally would get. Inside, you have four major categories, animals, my body, things, and places. How to use this book. And then the way it's split up is you have a alligators and turtles section, and you have all of these different things within that section. So you read about the alligators and the turtles, and then you do activities such as writing sentences, fact and opinion, um, four other animals with sharp teeth, drawing an alligator with a bunny tail and bunny ears, writing about turtles. You have some facts down here and you have to sort them between which is alligators, which is turtles, and which is both. You have some math word problems, some math graphs over here with some word problems as well. You have some phonics here because you're going to be changing the letters to make other words that are within the groups you see. Some art as you draw a turtle and then you fill out some information. You have a few more word problems by viewing the picture right there. They want you to write an addition, a subtraction, and a multiplication problem. You have some more gator facts circling the one that's different. A word search using the letters in alligator write words. You have a few questions about a turtle, some turtle skip counting forward and backwards, turtle facts and opinion, how could you flip a turtle over without using your hands. You're going to use four colors to design a turtle shell and none of the colors can touch each other so you need to plan it before you do it. A maze but you can only use 16 logs to get from start to finish without jumping on an alligator. You have a turtle puppet craft. And then you go into the next section, which is bats and bugs. So like I said, there's just a little bit of everything in this one. There's tons of variation. It includes plenty of critical thinking. It has some language art, some math, some art. So if you could only get one, I highly recommend this one. And there is an answer key in the back of every one of the books as well just in case you needed the answers. So that was the critical thinking. Next, we will be looking at the math, which has computation, test practice, and problem solving within it. So here you can see if you need to pause it, all of the things are gonna be covered. There are 10 total units, and each page is just a simple, but fun, different variation on math, and each unit kind of has the same um, theme throughout. At the end of each unit, you have a test your skills page, so that at this assessment you would know whether you needed to review anything or not. Then you move on to the next theme. So again, there's your test your skills. Then you move on to in the kitchen. So I'm just going to let you see some of the different variations in the book as we move through it. Bright and colorful, fun. They're short, concise lessons that slowly build on each other. And within themes, I think any child would love to do a book like this. And again, there's an answer key in the back in case you needed to look at it. So that was the Skill Sharpener's Math. Next up, we have the Reading, which covers comprehension, phonics, and vocabulary. There are 
all of these different stories and you can see some of the things that are covered within them. So what you do is you read the story or they would read the story and then there's little hints about ways you might want to read or after you read. Then you have some comprehension questions. Here you have to write what the word is. Um, putting the sentences that they've given you in order so you're sequencing. Here you're going to take the words from the story and sort them by the phonetic key. Writing sentences from those words. You're going to sort the word family. Here you're learning about ownership and adding an apostrophe S. Then you get into My Dog Max. Each one is set up similarly with comprehension, some sort of phonics, some sort of sequencing. Then there's normally some sort of vocabulary, what does it mean type of thing. Here is some more phonics. And then you have some sort of grammar skill, like before we had the apostrophes, this time we have the pronouns. We can see another example here. So see there's your sequencing. Here's some of your phonics and word short sorting, opposites. And then here you're going to be circling the verbs. So this is a very good overview of language arts for second grade. If you just wanted some sort of reinforcement, this covers a lot of the basic skills. And again, there is that answer key in the back in case you need help with that. So that was the skill sharpeners reading. Next, we have the skill sharpener science, which is vocabulary, science, facts, projects, and activities. So you have physical science, matter, changes in matter, forces in motion, forces at play, life science, my body, body parts, animal life cycles, plants, habitats, space and earth science, space, the sun, weather, earth systems, geology, water and ice, and then science and engineering science and engineering. So this is just going to go through those different topics with some like fill in the blank. You're going to read about it here. <clears throat> you have some wordplay, a science puzzle, sorting the things, whether it's solid, liquid, or gas. And then here's a hands-on activity. And then you're going to fill in what happened. So there's reading about it, a few worksheets about it, and then a hands-on activity. Which, if you're looking for something simple and laid out for you for science, this is definitely it. It's a good overview of all of the different kinds of science. It's got a few simple worksheets and plenty of hands-on activities as well. I think this would be perfect for second grade. And I can only imagine that the kindergarten and first grade would be perfect for them as well just so you can see some of the other pages here. And then again, you have the answer key in the back. So that was the skill sharpener science. And the last one, and probably the one I personally am the most excited about is geography. And the only reason I'm so excited about this is because I feel like geography always seems to take a back seat in our homeschool. So I love that I now have something that's going to make sure that that doesn't happen. So this includes map skills, projects and activities, and places and environments. So you can see here it goes over the world in spatial terms. What is a map? What is a globe? A map grid? A road map? Places and regions? A world map? <clears throat> places and regions? A land and water map? A suburb? A state map? Physical systems, a weather map, an ocean habitat. Human systems, a population map, a product map of Kansas, and how people use land. And then we have environment and society, a resource map, then and now, the uses of geography, the size of the United States. So, again, you have, you know, your reading. Then you have vocabulary, so you have a few different things that you're going to be filling out, and then you have a hands-on activity. What I love is that in all of these books, if there's something you're going to cut out, they've given you a blank sheet on the back. So there's more hands-on activity. So again, here's some more reading, 
a few things that you're gonna fill out and do. And then here's another hands-on activity. So I love that it's a good variation. You're never doing the same things over and over in any of the books, but you have just enough facts, hands-on activities, and reading all mixed in and laid out for you. I feel like this is these are all excellent. You can kind of grab them, go, they're open and go. It gives you everything that you need as a teacher and a student. It's all in one place. I feel like that's a very good overview of the topics that's included. And I personally love that they are full color because I think that just makes it more fun. And sometimes you need that to be able to visualize things. And then just like the other ones in this one, you also have the answer key in the back as well. So there you have it. That was the Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners Grade 2 Critical Thinking, Math, Reading, Science, and Geography. If you've used any of these skill sharpeners at any grade level in your homeschool, let me know down in the comments how you felt about them. Did you like them? Did you continue to use them? Did your child like them? And if you'd like to see any more in certain page or um, more of the table of contents, let me know and I can do that for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe.